Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome back again to Frontliner Broadcast Analysis. So Kenyans, as I told you last yesterday in my last video that things were getting complicated. We don't know where to go, we don't know what to do because in the midday there was a petition attempt to stop parliament from voting on Professor Kituri Kindiki nominated until after a hearing and ruling as well as to stop President Ruto from appointing Professor Kituri Kindigi as the deputy president. This came after President William Samoy Ruto, the head of the state, named Professor Kituri Kindiki as his new deputy president. And before we continue, can you take a second of your time, subscribe, comment, and like our videos. Thank you so much for that support. So Kenyan, that is what that is what happened yesterday after uh, the speaker of the national assembly wetangula received a message from the head of the state to appoint professor kituri kindiki the cs of interior as the new deputy president but unfortunately the but unfortunately that one happened and the parliament continue, just continue to keep or to carry on with their proceeding of voting against a uh, nomination of Professor Kituri Kindiki. And 236 MPs voted yes against Professor Kituri Kindiki because some of the MPs were absent uh, at that uh, debating because of one on two issues. So there was a court order there. That is where I was getting worried because for a deputy president to be sworn in, there must be Martha Kome, chief justice or his deputy to supervise what is happening during the taking oath of the new deputy president. So that is where we were still getting challenged because there is a court order to stop approving Professor Kituri Kindiki as the new deputy president. Then the, co then the National Assembly are going on with the proceeding. And later on, it, it was confirmed that uh, the swearing-in of the new deputy president will happen today at the Uru Gardens. But that one is not going to happen. According to the news that we are receiving on our Frontliner podcast, that I think that uh, events have been cancelled due to court order. Obey the court order, ladies and gentlemen. And that is what even Eugene Wamala talked about yesterday at Citizen TV, begging William Samoto to obey the court order and follow the constitution of the Republic of Kenya, not his power. Watch this current situation at the Ouru Garden. So that is the current situation and this rushing of, uh, of swearing in Professor Kituri Kindiki must stop a bit until uh, the hearing and ruling 
will be heard. That is the moment that they will now be allowed to go at the Uru Gardens to carry on with the swearing in of the new deputy president unless otherwise. You know, you must pay the, the court. That was a court order from uh, Chief Justice after appointing the three judges to go and go through the case of the deputy president, Rigad Gashagwa, who fell sick one day ago after lunch break when his case was going to be happened and even himself, he was the person who was going to defend himself in, from, in front of the Senate before the senators vote at night. So things are getting complicated. A lot of people are mourning in the Nyeri that uh, they did not have just seek justice for the former deputy president because right now we call him former deputy president because the Senate approved that you have... The Senate uh, was already approved that he is... Uh, former deputy president, according to the votes that are uh, taken on or carry on during this listening of the Rigadi Shagwa's case. So there's nothing that we can do by now. Let us listen to the case at the High Court so that uh, the High Court can give us the final decision towards Rigadi Shagwa impeachment if Rigadi Shagwa will have justice or whatever. So I don't know why the government is on a rush to swearing in uh, Professor Kituri Kindiki. That is where the problem is coming from. I don't know where they are. Where, where is Kenya running to? This, this thing should be held for even two months, 60 days. So then after that 60 days, we go to election of the new deputy president. There is no rushing of swearing in. That was sure that there is something that is going on. And I think what is going on is that Prof, uh, William Samoyo to want to appoint or announce his deputy president tomorrow at Mashuja Day in Kuale Kwake Stadium. I think that's why they were rushing with this issue today, so that they are swearing Professor Kituri Kindiki and accompanied him tomorrow in Kuale Kwake Stadium, where the event, sorry, where the Mashuja Day ceremony will be happening, 700 meters from Ouru Park, where Eric Omondi also will be having a um, uh, mass ceremony of the fallen heroes, the people who died during the anti-government protest here in Kenya. So that is what is happening, really, ladies and gentlemen, as I am talking to you right now. Uh, because yesterday there was an inspecting, sorry, Moses Kuria inspect the site for today's swearing in at uh, Uru Park for Kituri Kindiki, third deputy president under the 2010 Katiba. So that is what is happening, ladies and gentlemen. After Parliament approved Professor Kituri Kidiki as the new deputy president, and two thirds six vote yes, zero vote no. Later on, the court stopped the replacement of Rigadi Gashagwa as deputy president until 24th October. And that is what is happening right now. There is no event that is happening at the Uru Garden because of the court order. So that is what is happening. Let us meet the next video that is going to be uploaded shortly as usual. I'm, going, I'm always your host of the day. Be God bless you.